handlebar bags. I feel like these are a must for every cyclist to have for longer day on the saddle. But there's a lot of choice out there and there's two company based in LA that makes great handlebar bags. So in today's though, I will compare the lead out $40 handlebar bag against the Roadrunner $45 handlebar bag and see which one is better. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Charles and welcome back to my cycling YouTube channel. In today's though, we have two handlebar bags to take a look from because I feel they kind of are direct competitor on the market. They are both around that $40 to $45 price point. They are both based in Los Angeles, California. They are both the exact same size. We're gonna dive down their construction, their features, what one bag has good against the other ones, and just to let you guys figure out which handlebar bag you guys should go for. So the first bag we're gonna look at is the lead out mini handlebar bag. So this bag offer 1.3 liters of storage. It has buckle straps on top. It has a elastic strap at the back. It has fully waterproof zippers, water resistance fabric. It has a small pocket here on the side for maybe like a set of key. I love the fact that there's a big and wide reflective band all around the bag so you can get seen from far away and a few more features we're gonna dive later into this video so the second end of our bag we're gonna take a look is the roadrunner burrito bags so this one again is the exact same size as the other one 1.3 liters of storage space uh, the material used for this one is 1000d cordura which do feel a lot lighter and thinner uh, zipper is ykk fully waterproof zippers uh, which does feel very nice it doesn't have a buckle system, it only comes with velcro system for the top and the rear. And the bag is also available in eight colors, so that's a great perk about it, so you can match your bike. And now we kind of need to compare the two because they're kind of fighting against each other. And at first look, when you do take the lead out into your hands, you kind of feel that the material looks a little bit more superior. And it looks to me, even though that it's not a fully waterproof coating, I do feel that the items inside of the handlebar bag will stay drier for a longer amount of time with the lead up bag compared to this one. Both of these are not 100% fully waterproof. So keep that in mind. So if you do submerge them in water, your thing will get wet. But if it's pouring rain, they should keep your bags safer. But it's like a storm, the lead out might be a little bit better. Now we kind of need to compare the zipper. So the zipper is also a very important part because you don't want a zipper that's too hard to open because you're kind on the bike, but you also don't want a zipper that's too easy to open because you don't want it to open when you don't really want it. The Roadrunner zipper, it really can get hard to open when you're riding and it's also impossible, and I've tried it, to open up with one hand. The lead up though, I feel that it, it's possible to open it with one hand. I'm gonna hop on the bike and show you guys the difference for sure. Do my thing fall into the ground? That's a good thing. It's not a good test. Does my do my anal bar my thing come off? Kind of packed right now, so I'm able to grab my bar. So I kind of need my two hands to close it. So at least I can open it easily, but I I cannot I cannot really close it. Now we're gonna take it off. Fairly easy. Now if I do the unbite the test, uh, if I'm writing and I want to open it, I can't, it's not possible. I cannot open it with one end while writing, so kind of uh, difficult. So I would need to go under my arrow position, grab the bag, pull. Now the stuff, you kind of want to get out here. Just lost two bar here. And if I want to close again, I cannot close it with one hand. Lost another bar. Another thing to keep in mind is the Roadrunner bag has no interior. So as you see here on the top cam, uh, the bag is just a burrito. There's nothing inside, there's no separator. So all your items that will go inside of it will kind of get all loosed up and it will be kind of hard to find. 
What I like about the lead out is that there is a little pocket with the liner, uh, so we might see here. There's like a mesh uh, separator here. So that's better maybe for your credit card and your keys. But this brings me to another big difference though, uh, to keep in mind. So both bag says Los Angeles, Los Angeles, but the difference is Roadrunner, it says and made in Los Angeles. And I've been to the uh, Roadrunner factory and they do make all their bags and hand in Los Angeles. But the lead out, if you, you kind of have to look closely, but inside of the little zipper pocket, uh, that's where there's the tag. But if you open the tag though, it says in, in very small, made in China. So that's something to consider. Uh, maybe why the lead out offers you a better quality and more features for the same price is this one's made in China. This one's made straight in California, in Los Angeles. So this depends on your views and your values. Uh, if you're like me, I live in Canada, and to be honest, for me, all I want is the best value for the money, the products. I don't really mind if it's handmade in California uh, for the same price. But even though these handlebar bags are made overseas, the company is run by two guys from California, Trevor and Jonathan. So to be honest, for me, don't really mind it. Uh, you guys know I ride Windspace, I ride a bunch of Chinese products, and I like them. Also, keep in mind that all of the bikes you're riding and all of the parts or carbon parts you're riding, they are made in China, even though you don't want to admit it. Or maybe Taiwan, one of these two. Anyways, they're, they're not the same, but kinda-ish, depending on your political views. But all right, let's get back to the end of our bags. Uh, so both will do the job. They will carry your items uh, for you uh, instead of your rear pockets, which is nice when you go on longer rides, maybe 150K rides. You don't really want to stuff gels and bars into your cycling pocket. It can get bulky and can push into your lower back. So having a bag is just nice. So in overall, who's the winner? Well, I do think that these both bags are great, but the winner is the lead out for me. Uh, this will become my go-to handlebar bag for next summer because uh, there's a few reasons. First of all, I do prefer the buckle system that comes with it. The Velcro straps do work, but they just cannot get as tight as possible, as easy as this little buckle system. I do know that the Roadrunner Supreme Burrito comes with this kind of clips and I like it, but I just wish it came with this bag as well. Another thing I like about the lead out is despite the two bars less that it can fit. It, did, it is a little bit thicker, so it will prevent more water to come in uh, than this one. So I do like the fact that there's a liner inside for my credit cards, so it's just not a big mess into this bag. Plus the little key zipper will be nice, so when I get back home, I don't have to look for my keys inside of there with the bars, with the empty wrappers. But I'm just not too sure about the elastic one here. I kind of prefer the fact here, like this one, it's a tight cord. So here's my recommendation to the lead out guys. Maybe ditch the elastic cord here. Well, I kind of give it a pinch, but nah. I think I prefer a firm cord than an elastic. All right guys, so this is it for today's dough. So I want to mention, I did receive both of these bags for free. I'm not paid to do this overview video to promote one brand against the other. This is just my clear, honest opinion. Again, I know I've mentioned it, but this one is made in China. This one is made in California. So if you're a proud American and you want to support America, this might be a better option for you. If you don't mind and you just want the best value for the money, this one is another best option for you. And uh, yeah, that's it. There will be a link in the description down below if you guys want to check them out. If you enjoyed this though, please don't forget, leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already. And my name is Charles and I will see you guys on the road or into the next video. Peace.